also do DPW. Do we, do we can. We got ten minutes. That's enough. Are you? Yes. So, any changes to the job description? I think. Well, I think uh, this is here as a reminder that the board is going to make uh, changes and get them to me, and I follow them. Mm -hmm. uh, we I haven't gotten everybody's yet. Are these the changes we talked about so far? Or no, no. The this is the original. Yes. We talked about yeah. it. Yeah. About that, that so, just a reminder that if you've got others, get, get them to me and I'll uh, get out of them. I didn't really have any. So, if there are no others, then we'll go with what was talked about. Over Gilbert, can you, we, what we talked about was the uh, residency. Miles, miles. Miles. And I thought there was also some change in the language on the licensing that was suggested. Uh, no, we left, I think we left that in place. We're going to require a... We just talk. No. Right, okay. Right, bachelor's in civil engineering. Yep, and then P is years. preferred. That was a 13 mile? 15. 15. Certification, licensed professional engineer in Massachusetts. And then we talked about giving the person, what was it, six months to obtain the licenses, but you said that's the license actually takes longer to get than that well, six month period. The PE is, six, is usually yeah. six months and you have, have it someplace else. Right. Um, and then the water licenses will take a little longer now because we're a, a two and a, a two and a two. It would take two years of the minimum major licenses and we're a four we're a four wastewater plant. So so do we want to write that in? Well for the progress AP is preferred, but right. we don't have to write it in. But as far as the water and wastewater licenses, do we want specific language right. to that fact? We could, and the alliance says other licenses are required by state and federal regulations within um, mandated time period or state mandated time periods. Does that does that sound okay? What is that? So other licenses is required by state and federal, federal regulations, regulations within state mandated time periods. But what's the state mandated time period? Well, you have to to get your water license now. You have to go one, two, three, four. You can't just do what you did and take your three. Oh, okay. So you have to start with you have to start with your D one, and then you have to uh, wait a year, take your D two, and you have to do the same with your T's and treatment. Mm -hmm. So they're a year apart. They're a year apart, and you have to get a class between the two, one and the two now. So, but would that then say that we would be willing to hire somebody who doesn't have any of those licenses, and they're starting a four-year process? That might be saying that. Yeah. Many PEs don't have your water and wastewater That's right. Licenses. Most PEs don't have the yeah. licenses. It's, it's something they get as they go through the process of just determining what they want to be well, when they grow up. certainly is if they apply for the job, a bonus for them if they do. Yes. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, you know, taking that into consideration. All right. So they would have to, at a minimum, be a licensed professional engineer. They'd have to have the bachelor's in civil engineering or related field. They'd have to have five years of... Well, uh, actually, we work don't, experience. We don't have. We don't say you have to be a PE. It says preferred. It doesn't say you have to be. Oh, preferred. Right. Although we could put in EIT and engineer <coughs> training. So do you say he's, um, required to be an engineer in training, and then say a professional engineer preferred? Yeah, I mean, I'd feel a little bit more comfortable with that. Yeah. I mean, again, you know, if we don't get an appropriate pool, then we can. Adjust. Adjust, but I'd rather start out with what we need. I'd be okay with that. Yes. That's usually that's usually how they do it. Right. Some are EITs, engineers in training, and then. So you want to write that up and get it to David? Yeah. So EIT required, P preferred. Other licenses are within the mid mandated time period. Mm -hmm. <coughs> OK, 
Okay, and then we had um, 15, 15 mile radius. Right. And then we also were talking about just in general the fact that we want people to accrue their vacation time by pay period versus <coughs> lump sum. Mm -hmm. Do we want to say anything about? Would that be in the contract? Or is there anything? But is there anything we say in the job description about that? No. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I don't think so. By hours worked. Mm -hmm. Yes. The only other thing that I, I had thought of after the last meeting, and I'm not really sure how, how it would be worded, but maybe it would be in the supervision <coughs> section, um, talking about uh, on site. On site what? Make sure that it's clear that the supervision is on site. That there, you know, it would be an exception that you would be away from town, you know, for training or things like that, but the supervision is expected to be occurring physically on the premises. Okay. But, you know, there, there have been instances in other areas where right. people are acting in a supervisory capacity, but they're not necessarily physically there. present, <coughs> which is perhaps the job of warrant. So I was just thinking about strengthening that supervision language somehow to include that. Sir, uh, so in the essential functions, well, actually, job environment, would that be something we add there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe, maybe that first paragraph of the job environment. So a reminder that you have to be, uh, well, we don't really want hands-on supervisor book. Okay. No, I'm literally on site. On site. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, even work is performed for the most part under typical office conditions on site. <laughs> yeah, we could just simply add that in. Well, I know it office, sounds obvious, office conditions are are on job sites. Well, workers workers perform for the most part may require on site <coughs> supervision. Or say work is performed for the most part on site and under typical office conditions. That's fine. Right. Okay. That'll that'll do it. Sorry, did you catch that when you were talking about it? Okay. Does anybody in the audience want to make a comment? Yeah, I'm happy to make a comment. How far, <coughs> how far is this perspective of DPW is to live outside the mountains? 15, 15 miles. 15 miles. <laughs> That's the same as we had for the police chief. Police chief. Molly, Molly made a very, very good point. <coughs> Today's age, where you can do things by your computer, your telephone, or something like that, you could be out skiing and saying, uh, I'm doing work on my computer. So, you know, you never really know if they're not on site, what's going on. And we hired somebody to do a job that should be on the job. Uh, do what the amount of time working because you can't oversee your men that you're working and working under you if you're not on the job. Is there anything that he's required to spend a minimum of so many hours within the town, the community? No. Yeah, like 40. <laughs> no. <coughs> no. Huh? Not right no, now. Not right now. Should we be putting in a 40 hour week or work week unless I thought I saw that, no? I think it says 40-hour work week, but still. Yeah, for some reason, I, I specifically looked at that, and I thought it was in here. That's the... In the town of Hadley. Oh, where? <laughs> here. Oh, that's a good start. Don't you think? Well, it could be at the baby showers. Right. In the Freaking town of Hadley. Mimosas. Um, well, I might take up that job. 
baby showers, drinking mimosas. Almost. You don't drink. I know. We get into too much trouble. He doesn't drink. Right. Forget it. Hey, well, I'm a big here. Yeah. <laughs> We don't want a rookie in that position. We've got to have an experienced professional. Yeah, you know that. <laughs> you know I would say a 40 hour work week with compensation for. Um, well, again, that'll be in the contract. Yes. So. Oh, okay. This yeah. is well, just a better description. Yeah, you don't, you don't, don't want to get too specific in a job description. You don't want to scare them away from the job description. If you're right. ever thinking about <laughs> scaling the yeah. job back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So we would put that language in the contract, though, when the time comes. All right. Although we do talk about the fact that you will have meetings. Yes. Night meetings. Yes. No, that's, that's part of your work conditions, yep. making somebody aware of the fact that your duties. it's not 9 to 5. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know how you would do that. I've never seen it, but that you're expected to be. Hmm. I just have to work on that one. My job description says I've got to have 32 hours, but it doesn't, it would say expect me to be on site to do my 32 hours as any other employee in this town. Yeah. yeah. Can't help it if you don't have to. Doesn't. You and Amherst. Mine expects me to do my job no matter how long it takes. I do it in two minutes. Okay, it's 725. Uh, they're coming. <coughs> All right, so if there's anything else, right now we have a couple of little oddball things, and we'll go from there.